Okay, Jeremy, here we are at the Royal Cape, uh, not the Royal Cape Yacht Club, the Royal Yacht Club of Tasmania, yeah. and you got a barnacle problem, eh? They're, they're squeaking it down. Uh, what, what, what's your first impression? My first impression is it's a lot worse than I was able to establish by just sticking my head over the side and having a look, but in a way I'm kind of relieved that it is as bad as it is because it, I was having serious doubts about my sailing ability. I thought you know, I'm really just sailing really, really badly and really slowly, but I can see why we were so slow. Yeah, that's yeah. no, pretty cool. Bill Dratt's cleaning off and the, the guys here from the club have a look. Let's go around the other side and have a look at the, how bad it really is. It's really quite horrific. Uh, you want to give the guide a tour? You crawl in through there <laughs> and try and describe what we're what we're looking at. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know the technical terms, but we seem to have a, a couple of different varieties. We've got these little blue uh, mussels. Um, we've got the gooseneck barnacles, and in between them, the, I think you identified a couple of different species that we've got here. And it's just unbelievable how they've propagated since since Cape Town. I mean. In Simon's Town, I dived the boat, it took me six, seven hours, but I got every single one off, but I, I didn't manage to get, uh, you know, the little, uh, this calcium kind of piece off, uh, that was just beyond my ability as, as a free diver to get these bits off. And I wonder if somehow that hasn't led to, to the regrowth um, of, of the barnacles. Yeah, um, it's crazy, eh? It's Really, it's, it's a lot worse surprising. than it was in Cape Town. Yeah, there's the jeep, as you wouldn't, it's better than any sea anchor that I know of. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're obviously um, happy with the decision to come in and, and sort it out, uh, even more so now that I've seen it um, close up. It, 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 it was there was actually no way I was going to get across the Pacific with this lot of Yeah, it's going to look at the bow, I mean, it yeah. will shoot back from the bow because it is really substantial. It's, it's quite crazy considering it was only like we worked out about seven weeks or something. Yeah. I mean, some of these clumps, like, like they're just stick your hand beside that one. Yeah. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's crazy. I don't know if I can. Uh, you can't even no. pull it. I can't even pull it off uh, by hand. They, they have to be scraped off. Yeah. Um, it's massive. Yeah. Absolutely chock a block. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, su I think it's a credit to Ola Enderlein, the designer, that the boat actually managed to move <laughs> with, with so much <laughs> growth on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, I mean, look at the so stuff on the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. Oh. Really crazy. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so you got a barnacle problem. What's the game plan now? Uh, the, 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 the guys, are, um, the bulge rats are, are scraping her down at the moment. We, we've, under strict instructions from the Tasmanian biosecurity guys, um, the process that we have to follow, we can't use any high pressure hoses or anything to scrape it down. Uh, we have to do it all by hand and then we have to bag all the, um, all, all the, the waste that comes off and it's got to go to the tip. Um, yeah. So it, it's the process is getting it all off as fast as possible. I've chatted to Mark from uh, Bull Rats about the, the the options in terms of um, recoating it, and it would appear that our only real option is to act reactivate the the copper coat and to to go over it with uh, a, a series of different grit sandpapers and and an orbital sander, because. Um, if I wanted to overcoat it, which was my initial idea, uh, with an alternate kind of abl ablative um, anti-fouling, I would have to put a, a two-part epoxy barrier coat on first, which takes time to dry, and then in between um, three other coats that he would have to put on top of it, I could be here for two weeks. And that doesn't form part of my game plan at all, so I think we're probably just going to scrape down, fair the hull, and um, reactivate the, the copper. Yeah, so reactivate, for those who don't know, they've got to just sort of burnish it. So the copper coat has copper like powder in the epoxy. Do you want to explain yeah. that? No. Um, the, this, when applied, um, it, the, the copper is, is very clearly a copper colour, and then it, it, um, it, act, it interacts with the seawater, and you get this burnished kind of green colour. And from time to time, it needs to be abraded with a, a, a light sanding um, to to expose more of the copper that's in, in the um, epoxy yeah. and, and, and that then has the anti-fouling properties. 
Yeah, remembering, of course, that it's not we're not picking on copper coat with this. I mean, Andy Fairling's had the same problems, but because generally the copper coat's not bad. You know, you can see there's a bit of slime there, but there's no other growth. It's just the bloody barnacles. You know, so so uh, it's it's an interesting subject, and I know a lot of people are following it closely. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I'm, I'm not an expert with these things, so I'm, I'm definitely not offering any opinion as to, to the causes of this, but I, I've, I've got a friend in Cape Town who's an associate professor of marine biology at the University of Cape Town, and when I get back there I'm going to be picking his brains about how these sort of things can happen. And, um, yeah, so how's the rest of life in uh, Hobart? You're on track? Oh, Hobart's beautiful. I, I could stay here for months. It's, 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 it's a really, really lovely little place. Um, first time here and uh, I'm loving it. it it's, it's, a, it it's got very much of a Cape Town feel and um, it, it's just a, it's a lovely little tourist town and um, I, I, I could really get stuck here. But yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And thanks for the club here too. You know, they lend us the rib and, and uh, they've sort of dropped everything to try and cope with this. We had a couple of tries to get up and down and uh, now it's here. So that's all good. Uh, Bill Drat and the boys. Bill Drat's not a, not a bad, uh, it's not a, a bad slang term, you know. <laughs> That's yeah. just who he is. <laughs> so, yeah. In fact, there he is over there. Yeah. <laughs> so they got the yeah. job waiting for us to finish up. So, uh, all right, we'll just lock this off. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, anything else you want to say to anyone? No, no, no it's good. It's um, just wanting to see the the, the end result. Is, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. It's All right, thanks, mate. We'll uh, just come back here so you can see the perspective. So they come off pretty good with a scraper and all that sort of stuff. And and uh, yeah, it is substantial. Uh, a lot worse than what I thought. So uh, it was going nowhere. Okay, so we'll uh, uh, put some.